Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and today I am reviewing the XH Data D380BT FM MP3 Bluetooth Radio and Recorder. I bought this radio for $14.98 plus tax after using a $5 coupon on Amazon. They normally sell for $19.98, however, at the time of this recording, there is an extra 25% off coupon which means you can still get this radio for about $15. Here's the box right here. I'll show you the front of it. You can pause and look at that. And then on the bottom of the box, I'll read the features. Wireless BT playback function. TF card playing function. Ultra high sensitivity FM radio. Auxiliary input. DC 5 volt in, 500 milliamp hour jack, DC 3.7 volt lithium battery BL5C, wireless working range 10 to 15 meters, FM, it says 87.5 to 108 megahertz, however, it actually goes down to 76 megahertz, which means you can use this radio in Japan since they go down that low on the frequency. Radio recording, external recording, wireless, B Bluetooth recording function, rereading at any AB point function, direct digital point song, direct input digital selection, radio function, and LED displayer. Here's the side of the box here, then the other side of the box here, and then... This top of the box here, XH Data Portable Stereo Wireless Bluetooth Recording Radio Speaker. And on the back of the box, it's basically the same features as said in the bottom. You can pause and look at that. And I'm going to take out the contents. It comes on an auxiliary cable in which you can hook to the auxiliary jack and hook it up with an external audio source. A USB charging cable, it's a uh, micro USB. And then there's the radio. Some paperwork. A thank you note from RadyWow. XH Data and Rainy Wow are practically the same company. I got the same note with the Rainy Wow R108. And then your operation manual here. I don't think it'll focus properly, but it's just six pages. Yep, I'll put that off to the side and take the box out of the way. And here's the radio. It's in both bubble wrap and a protective sleeve right here. I'll get my stand. Very small radio. It's one of the smallest radios I have. And let's go over the features. Four and three eighths of an inch in length, two and a half inches in height, and one inch in depth. Two by two and three eighths inch speaker grill with a one and a quarter inch speaker, and there's probably a mic speaker in there as well, and a 15 inch antenna. And right here we have a wrist strap. Uh, it doesn't affect radio reception, so you can cut this off if you want, if you don't like wrist straps. And here's the front radio right here, the speaker grill, XH Dania D318BT, LED display here, an AB button here, a record button here, 
a wheel here with a set of buttons. So the middle one is your play, pause, phone button. On the top is music, on the bottom, playback. The left is rewind and the right is fast forward. Your mode button here and your enter um, delete button here. And then you have a numeric keypad to key in your tracks or FM frequency. You press and hold the 6 button, it'll lock the radio, and you press and hold the 0 button, it's a continuous loop of one track. The bottom of the radio has rubber feet and a TF card included with the radio, the first 1,000 radios that are sold. You have a, uh, a TF card full of 99 Chinese songs on it. I think that's great. It's very neat that they included it. On this side of the ray is your volume wheel. It's a digital volume because if you go from real low to real high, you'll notice that step volume up or down. If you go from one level to another to the next one, you don't, you don't notice as much. Headphone jack here, mono both ears with no low level hiss. I tried it. DC5 in jack. And an auxiliary jack, so you can plug in through an auxiliary cable external audio sources, such as an MP3 player, or your cell phone, or an, even an old cassette player that has one of those uh, inputs there. What else? Nothing on this side of the radio. The top of the radio is your 15-inch antenna with on-off switch. And on the back... is the battery doorway case. It's kind of hard to open and close, so I got to be careful here. And that is where you see your BL5C lithium-ion battery here. It's 3.7 volt, 100 milliamp hour. If you're not careful, it's a struggle closing this. And as you notice, a lot of fingerprints on this radio. It's a fingerprint magnet with its high gloss finish but what I'm going to do right now is do a size comparison is a size comparison with the rainy while R108 it's about 506 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from the northeastern part of New Jersey the R108 is definitely bigger. Like I said, Ray Wow and XH Data are practically the same companies. And from this view, they use the same lithium ion battery here. And then I have one more radio to compare this with. The Retechus V115 recorder, which has AM, FM, and shortwave right here. They also use the same type of lithium ion battery. Okay. Put that over here. And what I'm going to do right now is turn on the radio and take you through some of the features. Yeah. I can't play too much of it just in case these songs are copyright. But that's a little sample of the TF card, there's 99 Chinese songs on it. As a matter of fact, you can press a track number if you know the track number. So I'll key in the last Chinese song, 99. Yeah. And um, that is all for that. Then 
I added four more tracks, uh, three YouTube uh, audio library songs, plus World of Radio with Glenn Hauser. So I'll take you through those briefly. Now, I can press fast forward with one click of this button, single press. Now, now if I want to fast forward within the track, I press and hold fast forward. Now, if I want to go backwards, I can single press the rewind button to the previous track. Now, if I want to go backwards within a track, then I press and hold, long press, the rewind button. And then, to pause or stop, press the middle button. And then replay, I press the middle button again. And I also included a spoken word track, World of Radio with Glenn Hauser. This is Glenn Hauser with World of Radio, 2022. World of Radio is a listener-supported public service program about communications around the world, above all shortwave. On this edition, recorded February 20th. And uh, that is all for the introduction. I just wanted to show you that. Now there's various modes you, you can go to. Now, I better do the AB button. Well, I don't know how to do that. I'd, I'd have to... Do that on my own and on this video. So I'll take you to the mode button. I don't really use this AB button on players very much. So I'll just take you to the mode. I press mode. And you can also press the play pause button to mute the audio. But it takes you to FM. Then I press mode again. Now, I don't know. I have the Bluetooth hooked up, as a matter of fact. On, I'll show you on the phone where the Bluetooth is connected. Here it is. D318BT, connected for calls and audio. So what I'm going to do is play another song briefly from the YouTube Audio Library. Here's the song I'm playing.
Yeah, I paused that and I'll press the next mode. Australia, Brazil, Canada. And it takes you back to your TF card. Now, I can also record off various sources. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have four tracks, and by accessing them, I have to press playback right here to access those four tracks I recorded. Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972. That was the mic recording that I did before um, this video. So um, I can fast forward or go back. Same thing, long press within the track or short press to the next or previous track. Cuba, France. Hi, this is Mike. This is a track I recorded from the YouTube audio library. Now, Bluetooth recording isn't stereo. That's the only function in which it's stereo. Everything else is mono recording. Sounds very good in stereo. I like it. Melody Cedarstrom and CSE Talk Radio team up as common sense voices of integrity. I personally endorse Melody Cedarstrom to be your trusted go-to expert for all your precious metal needs. Experts agree a financial crisis and even collapse is inevitable. Given our this is something I recorded from WWCR Nashville via the audio auxiliary input here. So, and it doesn't degrade the shortwave signal very much. As a matter of fact, little to none degradation of radio signals when I hook, let's say, a radio wow or a Texan radio through here. So, that's a good feature here. It doesn't affect reception very much, if at all. Our government's lack of economic leadership and... At Boar's Head, we know a properly roasted London broil is the crown jewel of the deli experience. That's why we put so much care into ours. Boar's Head London broil roast beef is hand-trimmed and artfully seasoned. It's... This was something I recorded from the FM radio, uh... 98.7 ESPN to be exact. So I recorded that. And I can access all my recordings by pressing the playback button. If I press music, it'll go back to my music tracks that were on the SD card or TF card, wherever you are in the world. Then slow roasted to tender, juicy perfection, making this deli favorite a masterclass in old... And... And that is all for the playback. Now, what I'm going to do next is put the antenna up. And I'll do a scan of the FM dial. I already had a more extensive FM scan in an earlier video I did. I'll put a link in the description for that quick FM band scan. But in the meanwhile... Germany. Now, what I'm going to do is press and hold the play button, and it'll scan, seek, and store stations in. It starts at 76, so it's going to go through the entire dial, 76 to 108 megahertz, and store stations. As a matter of fact, I'm already liking this. Uh, I know there's a similar model of a recording. Oh. Recording device out there. I like, I like these scans. A couple of seconds and that's it. ability to buy 
la línea donde puede... Feel like ain't... de compras So it scanned. It scanned 46 stations uh, in this scan. Um, I've gotten as many as 52. However, nine of them were false findings. Uh, I'm not going to have time in this video to take out all the false findings. But um, my findings have ranged between, I'll say, as little as 40 to as much as 52 frequencies, uh, of course, some of them I have to uh, delete because of false findings. So, I get actually 43 actual stations being scanned here, and probably as low as um, three dozen stations, so 36 to 43. So, I'll just say 40 plus stations this can get because it does not scan weak signals. There are certain signals that won't be scanned on this because the signals are too weak, but you can get them anyway. I'll give you an example. I'll key in 104.7. That is WSPK Poughkeepsie, New York, K104, about 60 miles away. I'll try another station, 97.5. Yeah, WALK, Patchogue, New York, about 60 miles away. And sometimes I get a translator of two, W248CG, Jersey City, New Jersey, only 10 miles away. And I'm going to try one more, 101.5. FM. And I guess when I touch the antenna, the signal gets better. But that's WKXW, New Jersey, 101.5 Trent, New Jersey, about 50 miles, over 50 miles away. So... It's a great receiver, and if you can't find a station that's not strong enough, you can always key in the frequency. But it doesn't let you go, let's say, from 101.5 to 101.7. It won't let you do that. It can only let you seek through the memories or key in stations. I'm going to try... To record something right now. And once I got the feedback from everybody else, they're like, "Wow, uh, the you know, you really connected and and and, and in every which I way." I pressed this button that, to record. Despite no experience, was like, "This is you know a gift from above because you know unlike when." when so I'm gonna make, play this back. Uh, the you know you really connected and 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 in every which way is someone that that despite no experience was like, "This is you know a gift from above because." India. Indonesia. And that's all for that. I just recorded something briefly from WFAN FM 101.9 New York City, which is Sports Radio 66, the fan. So, 
What else do I need to do? Oh, if I want to delete it, I press the uh, delete button, enter here. If I want to delete a track, oh, I can't delete SD card tracks. I have to delete just playback uh, the, tracks. You know, you really can See, I single press this, then I long press again. And that's it. The track's deleted. And um, that is all. So, do I recommend this radio? Uh, yes, I do. So, uh, that's a final thought of mine. I have more final thoughts. Uh, I like uh, this radio. I like the size of this. It has a great sound to it, both talk and audio and on headphones. And it records great off of any source, whether it's auxiliary input, Bluetooth, FM radio. So, it does great recording. Even the mic recording is very good. Now, of course, I had mentioned there's a similar looking player. And I'll show it to you. It's the Texan Q3. Right here. But my problem with this is that wrist strap antenna over here. I'm not a big fan of it. I like this telescopic antenna better here. And my criticism, though, my two criticisms of, of this is it's a fingerprint magnet. I don't like that at all. It makes the radio look a bit sloppy. And the fact that I can't, doesn't have a volume, I mean, a tuning wheel to go up and down a frequency. You have to either key it in or go with whatever stations you scan. So those are my criticisms of it. But overall, I have to say that this is a solid four-star radio and receiver. You know, for $15 to $20. As a matter of fact, um, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. And um, overall, just a great radio. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Have a good week, everyone, and God bless. Bye-bye.